Happy Friday, Rancher Ranchers. I hope you all had a wonderful week. We've been pretty busy here, and it ends with our uh, sorting day tomorrow from 11 until 2 at 34 Isle Avenue in Amherst, 14226. Um, so our garage sale is uh, quickly approaching. It's only a couple of a uh, couple of months away, really. So we're having a sorting day. You can come for um, as long as you want and uh, stay for as long as you can. Um, we're gonna have munchies there and uh, Janie, Carol, Joanne, and Lori will be there to uh, help you along and. Um, let you know what uh, needs to be done. Um, so, you know, we have a lot of stuff that's come in. So uh, we need to um, organize it and price it and, um, you know, just get ready for the big day. So if you have time tomorrow, you're in the Amherst area, please stop by. Um, you know, more hands that help makes the work go faster. So... Any assistance would be muchly appreciated tomorrow. We have uh, three other days um, that we have uh, for sorting too, so um, keep an eye open for those. And uh, you, if you can't help tomorrow, you have three other opportunities. So like I mentioned, um, this week has been pretty busy. Um, it started out with um, Jeff Kozel and um, Jesse Beeler coming in and uh, doing everybody's teeth. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I was trying to hold that in. Um, and everybody did really, really well. Um uh, Apollo's teeth were, um, had a few points on them. Um, we worked on them last year, but, um, when he came, um, you know, actually I should say when they came, um, they, um, you know, it was fairly soon after Ellie and Apollo arrived. Um, so he was still getting acclimated to things and, um, so, um, and who knows when was the last time he had his teeth done. So he did his, you know, the best that he could. Um, and, and, you know, you can't file down everything um, because then you make the mouth sore. So um, the rest of it was filed down. And um, Apollo is not dropping as much feed as he was before. Um, he was dropping a significant amount. He'd scoop it up later. Um, but... You know, while he was eating, he was really dropping a lot. He's not doing that. Um, he's much more efficient with his hay. Not that he needs to be any more efficient because he's a vacuum cleaner. Um, but he did really, really well. Um, Ellie Girl over here, um, she was an absolute angel. Um, she actually fell asleep while it was being done. Um, she doesn't have a lot of teeth left. Um so, you know, it's just for um, comfort's sake and to maintain what she does have left. Um, one of the reasons that she does eat so much slower than Apollo does, especially in the area of hay, is that she just doesn't have that grinding motion left anymore. Um, you know, she is 31 years of age, and, um, you know, as time goes by, they do um, wear their teeth out, so um, and stuff happens also. So she has um, she doesn't have a lot of teeth left. Um, Louis, um, Louis was fine. It was just normal maintenance for him. And um, Abe um, had some some work that needed to be done. Um, he had some, some bad points that needed to be, um, filed down. So, um, I was very, very proud of Abe. He did an amazing job with, um, 
with Jesse. Jesse is actually used to, to working with halflingers and has a, a soft spot in her heart for him. So, um, so she loved working with Abers and, and he was really, really good. You know, it, um, he's getting much better with people that he doesn't know. Um, and, um, is much more tolerant of them. Whereas before he didn't want anything to do with them, at least now he'll show an interest and, um, and not, you know, totally keep his distance. So he did really, really well. Um, he and Louie um, decided to try different tactics to not have their teeth done. Um, Louie decided to go um, backwards as far as he could. And uh, Abe started off with that tactic, but then realized that that was not going to work. So he decided to do circles backwards. It was... Uh, it was kind of funny, um, but they, you know, no, no bolting, nothing, nothing of that um, caliber. It was just they wanted to move around, and Jesse just let it happen and didn't want to, um, didn't want to fight with them. So you're, you're not going to fight with them in that instance. You can just, uh, you know, go with the flow, and that's exactly what she did. Uh, so that was on Saturday, and then um, on Wednesday, um, we had Mark come and work on uh, Louie, and um, so his feet look, um, you know, pretty good. You know, his feet will never be... Um, will never be as good, I should say, as, as like Abe or, um, Ellie and Apollo. He, he just, he, his soul is, um, he has a nice base now that's harder than it was. And, you know, part of that is because it's been so darn, um, dry for everybody. And, um, so that's helped him in that, um, aspect um unfortunately he does have some bruising in his um uh up by his uh coronary band um and that is probably because of um when he's running and everything just the pounding on the on the hard ground uh so um we're just going to keep an eye on that and make sure that that's what the case is um and it's not something else um and then on Thursday, that would be yesterday, he, um, sorry, uh, Dr. Lauren came by um, and uh, took blood from Apollo, I'm sorry, took blood from Abe to um, retest for Lyme. So fingers crossed that everything goes well with that and he comes back negative and, you know, we can get past that hurdle and, and move on and, and hope that he uh, continues to feel good. Um, Apollo had his Lyme vaccine um, since his blood work came back negative. Ellie Girl here... Um, because she does have Lyme, she didn't get vaccinated. Um, I've made the decision just to, to leave her alone. Um, you know, she is not showing any ill effects from it. Um, she's able to get up. Uh, she's able to buck. Um, she's eating really, really well. Um, I don't want to start messing with her um, eating habits. Um, because that's what's going to have to happen in order to get um, the medication in her. Um, I don't know how sensitive she is to new things being added to her feed. Um, you know, every horse is not like Abe and Apollo, where if you mix it up good enough and have the ratio of feed to, um, medication, the powdered medication, they'll eat it. Um, you know, I had Jesse and Barney that it didn't matter what I put in with it. If I put applesauce, if, you know, it didn't matter the, 
medication to feed ratio, if they smelt that stuff in their food, they were not eating it. So um, I have a feeling that Ellie would be like that too. She's been around the block long enough that, um, you know, she's, because she is blind and it was the same thing with Barney, they're very keen, uh, they're very tuned in to any changes that happen. So a different smell is going to be an alarm for them. So I don't, I don't want to do that to her. She's, she's happy. She's healthy. You, like I said, she's, she's acting like a normal horse. She doesn't seem like she's in any kind of discomfort or anything. If she was, obviously we would be, um, giving her, um, treating the Lyme, but, um, you know, she's, she's doing well. So we're just going to leave, leave her alone. Let her be. So let's go over and check on Louie and Abers, see what they're doing. Hi, beautiful boy. Uh, this week also, their new fly masks came in. Um, oh, the other thing that we did this week is um, they we put hay in the in the loft, so that it's hay season. So you can see Lulu over here munching away on some um we had to move the ele hay elevator back so we had some extra hay and such so um my husband was kind enough to throw it out for them so this is what uh louis is eating so we have um we have about what do we have 281 bales up there right now um we're we're gonna uh, purchase a thousand. Um, we normally can get about 800 in the uh, top loft and, and um, if we pack in the bottom uh, what we call the tack room but it's really not a tack room it's more of a just a room down on the first floor where we do medication and um, halters and everything but anyway um, you know if if we do it right we probably can get probably 150 in there so um we're gonna be close uh if we use the stairwell we might be able to get the whole 200 um the whole thousand in there so that's the other thing that we've been doing this week so it's like i said it's been it's been a busy busy week but louis has been doing well he's um he is Putting weight on, uh, Dr. Lauren was um, happy with how he's looking and, and putting the weight on. She is still not understanding why he is not shedding out right um, and why why he, um, yeah, she doesn't understand his coat and she's she is amazed that he does not have Cushing's um, based on, based on lots of things, but mainly his, his coat right now. So all of his boo-boos are, um, are healing well. The, uh, scratch that he did on his, on himself on his side, um, is, is healing nicely. So soon enough, the, uh, the hair will grow over it and, and he'll be good to go. And then there's Abers over here. AB and, uh, hi, buddy boy. AB and uh, Charlie are uh, going to town on a uh, mineral block that I just put out for them. And uh, they're enjoying it very muchly. Um, I am still amazed that Abe, A, doesn't want a fly mask on, and B, that the flies are not bothering him at all. Everybody else has um, bites on their chest. Uh, except for Abe, I should say half. Half the crew has uh, bites on their chest from the gnats or whatever those annoying small flies are. Um, Abe, Ellie, and Apollo don't have them, and uh, Louie, Charlie, and Roni do. Um, but the they don't bother him at all. They leave his face alone. Um, they leave his belly alone, so it's, uh, 
it's so odd. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is, but he is just not the the bugs don't go get around him, which is a which is a good thing. All right, buddy boy, you backing up? Hey, bud. Video bomb. Um, other than that, he, he did really, really well with his training again this week. Um, we worked on um, going backwards and trying to weave backwards. Um, he was better at weaving than I was. Um, I got, I got, uh, yeah, I can't do a weave backwards. I can't do a weave without having like some kind of uh, um, landmark or something that, that helps with it. So, um, yeah, but he did really, really well with it. I'm, I'm happy with that. I was happy with the fact that um, uh, Dr. Lauren, when, he, when she drew blood, um, he was fine with it. He didn't, he didn't balk. He didn't... Um, he was just he he took it all in stride so i was very very happy with um with how he dealt with that um you know being poked and stuff you never know always how they're going to react um sometimes they're fine and other times they're not and that it doesn't matter if it's a a, a well-trained horse or if it's you know a horse that may have some issues um so I was very, very happy with, with how he did. But that's pretty much it for um, this week, guys. What do you think, Lulu? Um, so this upcoming week should not be as busy. <laughs> um, so things will be a little calmer, which is a good thing. Whoosh, big shake, buddy. But I hope everybody has a good week. Um, it should be getting a little warmer um, this weekend, at least on Sunday. So um, that will be nice. But I will uh, get you guys up to date um, next week on how everybody is doing. All right, Roan Chai Ranchers, be well. We'll see you soon.